The Circuit of the Americas is one of only two tracks on the calendar where Sebastian Vettel hasn't yet won. And the four-time world champion looked in the mood to set the record straight. Mercedes are Red Bull's closest challengers and Nico Rosberg was taking the fight to them, the first of the front runners on the softer, medium compound tyres. Hamilton beat Vettel in Texas last year, but the German's pace on the medium compound tyre made it look unlikely that would happen again. A personal best in the middle sector, this is going to be close to, if not better than Mark Webber, it is in fact better than Mark Webber. Vettel's lap was the cue for teams to begin their race simulations. As the session drew to a close, there was a scary moment for Max Chilton as he went flying at the final corner. I just had a complete base failure and the pedal went completely to the floor. So Vettel on top of the timings once again, with Mark Webber second ahead of his penultimate Grand Prix. The two Mercedes were third and fourth and just two tenths of a second, covering Esteban Gutierrez in sixth and Fernando Alonso in tenth. Hey there guys, it's Zara here bringing you my F1 2013 100% race ultra modded career mode and we're back once again with the United States Grand Prix for episode 18, the penultimate episode of this ultra modded career mode series. And as always, we're starting in 22nd place, there's a 0% chance of rain, Sebastian Vettel in first, Rosberg in second and Hamilton in third, it's a German 1-2. And uh, as always, starting 22nd, and we're going to have to try our hardest to overtake Lewis Hamilton here today. As, of course, he is leading us in the championship by one point. So uh, we're going to have to do our best. And going through the usual USA setup, and as always, fixed gear ratios, four clicks to the right from the default position that we nominated at the beginning of the series, all the way back in episode one. And uh, I'm allowed one joker, not played it yet, so therefore I'm going to be using it for Brazil to alter my gearbox to make it a Brazil setup um, when we get there. So that's the setup gone through. And uh, yeah, here at Austin, it's going to be interesting with the realistic damage mod. As uh, you guys would have seen in my Survive USA video, the AI can be a bit reckless into, t into Sector 1 with the S's uh, with the realistic damage mod. So we'll have to see how it goes. Uh, on the strategy, uh, we looks like we're going option prime prime at the moment. We'll see how that goes. Going to be a normal fuel mix as usual, so that gives us hopefully like, at least one lap of uh, rich mix to use. Um, so yeah, we'll see how it goes into sector one and the uh, first few laps. Uh, there is a high chance of a red flag, so we'll have to see about that. There was uh, one or two red flags when we did survive USA, so it could easily happen here. But uh, let's get on to the grid for the USA Grand Prix here in Austin, Texas. You can really feel the uh, country and western vibe here at Austin, Texas. It's just permeating out of the circuit. Here we go, here at Austin, Texas for the USA Grand Prix on the grid now, building up to five red lights and we are off and we're going towards turn one now, that elevation, big elevation for turn one, we'll see how it goes, very tight and narrow hairpin style corner, let's see if we can see any cracks, we can see a gap through the Caterham in Marussia, we go diving in past the Toro Rosso, touching our teammate though, lost a bit of our front wing end plate there, so that's not going to be good, that's going to cost us in the pit stops later on. But uh, we're going through to uh, this S's section. We're going to have to be very careful. My teammate on my right just missed Raikkonen. Oh, God, there's been a huge contact. We've had to swipe to miss it. I've spun out a bit. Looks like a Ferrari's out. And red flag. The race has been stopped. And that is a red flag. As I said at the intro, very, very big chance of a red flag. And there you have it. My teammate Maldonado smashed into a Toro Rosso just as I missed a, a, a Lotus car there. And then I nearly half spun it and uh, I think Alonso broke his front wing. But there was a red flag. So we are once again back on the grid for another race restart. Here we go. Five red lights. We're from 11th this time, not 22nd. So we've gained massively there from the race restart. Getting bogged on the line and the Toro Rosso is actually catching me off the line. And down to the first corner now. Let's try and make it some even more places. We can get all the way back up to maybe even the top the top, the top five. Yes, we are. We're into fifth place already by turn one of lap one now due to that red flag. We're going to be wary of the people on the inside of me going to go into the first sector now. And now here we go through the S section. Very hard stuff, especially with high fuel. Rosberg 
Rosberg really going slowly there and I had to twitch to miss him. And so we're back down to ninth place now, so that's unfortunate. Rosberg just parking it on the apex, and I had to twitch a bit to move him. Otherwise, if I carried on, I probably would have smashed into him. Now, getting good runoff on the Eitz man, Kimi Raikkonen. Oh, no, that's Grosjean, sorry, my mistake. And now we're on the back of Jensen Button down the inside of the McLaren driver. Easy stuff for seventh place. And now we're behind Felipe Massa in the Ferrari. We're going to use all our curves to try and catch him up, getting the slipstream now. I'm going to go to the left. And it should be an easy move, maybe, with the uh, no DRS, obviously. So uh, just on pure pace and using curves, down to lean mix for a bit to save some fuel. And now we're behind Sergio Perez in the McLaren, who's done well for himself. He's up into fifth place at the moment. It looks like we've got Rosberg. Then uh, I think that may be uh, Mark Webber. Then Lewis Hamilton and then Sebastian Vettel streaking out in front. So it looks like Sebastian Vettel is determined to win this USA Grand Prix. So now we're behind Sergio Perez, still on lap two, gaining on him, though. Nearly lost the rear there through that left-hander, but now up to, to standing mix. We've saved enough fuel now for my liking. Maybe make a move down the inside. No, we can think better of it. We're going to stick behind Sergio Perez, and we have pretty much a whole bar of curves, so we can use all of that off the corner. Really nice drive in the slipstream now, and now we're going to duck to the right. Pretty easy move, I think so. Yes, it is up to fifth place. Perez slots in back to sixth. And uh, we're hitting the rev limiter there uh, briefly for sick gear. Down to this hairpin corner on the left. And now we're uh, catching Nico Rosberg, who uh, looks like he's getting stuck behind Weber. Because it looks like Lewis Hamilton and uh, Vettel are getting away from Weber there a bit. And now we're on the back of Rosberg, the German. Looks like he's lost a lot of places. Maybe he was one that didn't gain so much in the red flag. Because obviously he started second place on the grid. Now we're chasing after him on lap five. Using the DRS, are we going to make a move? Last diving move down the inside. And we have maybe made this stick for four place. He's still very much there. Side by side with Nico Rosberg through this right-hander. He's still there. Going to have to give him the room. But now who will breathe first? Looks like Rosberg did as I just held my breath and took it in for fourth place into sector one. So, yeah. That was a last-ditch move there into turn one. Didn't really think I was going to make that move on Rosberg. But it looks like he just left the door open and was left napping. So, uh... You know, you've got to take your chances when that happens. So now going down to the hairpin for the back straight, the really long back straight. We'll have DRS, I think, on Mark Webber. He's got a really brilliant drive, though, off that corner compared to me. Look how much he's stormed away, but we're using the curves. We've opened DRS. Can we maybe gain on him enough? We're gaining, we're gaining, we're gaining. Can we get him in the slipstream? Mark Webber down the inside, and we're going to dive down the inside. And we're going to just about miss the apex, though. And looks like Mark Webber's going to push us off the time. We're going side by side with Mark Webber. Going down the inside of him. He's still around my outside, giving him the room and the respect. Going side by side with Mark Webber. This is brilliant stuff. Still side by side. Webber pounces on me and dives down the inside. And that's very weird for the AI to do. Yeah, very. Didn't expect that. He dived down the inside like uh, I would on an AI usually. So, um, fair place to Mark Webber. He's holding me up here for the third place at the moment. Maybe helping his team out in first place to uh, secure the win for the whole race and I'm going to just have to stick behind Mark Webber through these next few corners through the last corner now getting a nice kissing the apex cutting the corner a tiny bit and now going wide there as we're not finding the grip at the moment on lap 9 opening the DRS though and when the slips through Mark Webber going to the right now this should be an easy move on the right hand side of him and into turn 1 and yes it is now we're into third place now and now back down towards sector one. On lap nine, we're in third place. It's brilliant stuff. And obviously, we were helped out by with the red flag. But you've got to take all we can in the championship here. And uh, it looks like Hamilton is in uh, is struggling a tiny bit in second place now as we cut on to uh, lap 16. And it's very gloomy indeed. And we're trying to go around the outside of Hamilton. That's a very audacious move. Hamilton's coming to the pits. I've locked up a treat. Masses, uh, has Masses come into the pits? I'm not too sure. No, Masses stayed with me. So it's uh, lap 16. I was about to say, it, the track has got very gloomy indeed. Look at the just the weather compared to lap 9. Very gloomy indeed. And now onto lap 19. Still going on these option tyres. And I think now is the time to pit as we uh, are struggling on these tyres quite a bit here on lap 19. So into the pits, taking a very wide line. Narrowly missing the wall there. That could have been easily a front wing off with a realistic damage. I've just realised 13 people in this Grand Prix. Wow, that is uh, that, that is catastrophic there. Sector 1, not very good for the AI here in USA, as we could uh, would have kind of predicted but survive USA, how that went. So we're on to the prime tyres now. Pretty good standard pit stop, 3.1 uh, from my team. And we're down to fourth place now at the moment. Is it going to be fifth? As you can see in the minimap, there are cars coming up behind. But uh, no, it is, it is fourth place. Massa's third. I believe Hamilton is second, and I think uh, Vettel is still very much in first place on lap 20. And coming on to lap 24 now, we're chasing down uh, Felipe Massa, taking the life out of these prime tyres. Obviously, with new tyres, you get a bit fresh grip for about five laps time, where you're really using that 
to our advantage, gaining on Massa massively through Sector 1. Really able to carry the momentum car uh, compared to the AI, especially through this corner. I can carry so much more speed on the right and the left-hander. Getting great traction there, having to lose the lose, lost the rear a tiny bit, it snapped on me. But now we're getting on Felipe Massa, who's on the option tire, in fact. So that's very surprising that we've actually overtaken him there, down to the hairpin corner. Having to recorrect my line just so we don't hit the bollard there. But yeah, how, uh, Massa on the option tires, and we've somehow overtaken him on the prime. So uh, working well for us, and now we're going to use all the curves off the corner, obviously. And hoping that he doesn't catch us. He's uh, getting on us a bit though. I think he has DRS because obviously I don't. So it uh, looks like he's getting on me. But it looks like obviously he's not going to make a move. That would be quite stupid of him to try and make one that uh, when he's that close. So on to lap 30 now. We've set the fastest lap of the Grand Prix so far. Lewis Hampton there as you can see is in second place. Sebastian Vettel still in first place. It is very gloomy still. Track temperatures are plummeting down. It's getting very cold indeed. And that might help the tyres a tiny bit to cool down as... Uh, Heat degradation is a very big factor here in USA. So now we're catching up to Lewis Hamilton, who looks like he's being held up there by Marussia. We're saying purple times, and Hamilton is being held up an absolute treat here, and we're catching him ever so much. And here we are, we caught up to Hamilton being held up by, uh, well, the, one of the Marussias. We'll see if it's Chilton or not. Uh, I suspect it probably is. Trying to make the move on Hamilton. Yes, it is, Chilton. Good old Max Chilton. He's uh, held up Lewis Hamilton for us. And now we're going to use the Kurs. And we will have DRS, obviously. And uh, Hamilton will have DRS also to try and overtake Chilton over blue flags. But we've got the momentum. Getting slipstream from Chilton and Hamilton. We're going to make a move on the left-hander. Not on the left-hand. I'm going to move left. And we've just about made it down the inside. We've parked on the apex of the uh, exit. And we've got the move done for second place. So pretty nice. But we've gone wide, though. Hamilton's going to come back at us. But we're just about going to held it for second place. And now uh, Vettel is about seven seconds ahead. That's going to be tough to catch. I think that's not going to be one we can maybe catch very easily. Onto lap 31 now, going down the back straight. And uh, it's looking pretty okay at the moment. The skies are still very dark. Hamilton is behind me, though. He's got DRS. Will he make a move? This can be audacious if he does. Down the inside, he does make the move. We're going to give him room. Locked up a treat, though, on the right tire. And he's... Oh, God. Hamilton's actually squeezed off there a bit. Um, so, yeah. Down to third place. Bit of an annoying uh, thing for Hamilton to do. Kind of squeezed me off. Didn't give me enough room there. But, uh... Fair dues. I've maybe not given uh, much room to AI before, so maybe that's karma coming back to bite me. So uh, we're behind Lewis Hampton at the moment, and so as it stands, if it finishes like this, he will gain three points on us, because obviously he will get 18 points, I will get 15, so that means he will lead by four points going to Brazil, which is not ideal. I would ideally like to be leading going into Brazil if I can, and can help it. Uh, that will be the best option to be in, because if we're chasing Hamilton in Brazil, that's going to be a very tall order. So now we're in, uh, we're in DRS, obviously, getting the slipstream now. Will we go to the left? Yes, we will. Hamilton trying to go defensive on the inside, but I've just said no. I'm going to go on the left. And we've locked up a, a bit on the left, but it looks like Hamilton locked up even more onto lap 32. And we're back up to second place. And now we're using the curves on the uh, pit straight, lap 35 now. And we're, uh, our pace is starting to drop a tiny bit, and Hamilton is still sticking with us. And there is Sebastian Vettel, I think. That is Sebastian Vettel has just come out. He's made his pit stop already. So he is right with us, and he's already made his pit stop. So Vettel has definitely got this win in the bag for sure. And I've just realized there's only 11 people on the Grand Prix. It's just dropping like flies here at the moment here. So now we're on the back straight here on lap 35, and Vettel is catching us. He's on fresh tires. Obviously, he's just come out of the pit, so he's going to get us. And uh, we're going to try and stick with him in the slipstream, coming down to the braking zone. Now, oh, God, Jesus Christ, we've hit him, and we've locked up. We've lost a bit of our end plate there, locked up horribly. Very lucky not to go into the wall there. Could have been very nasty. Could have smashed right into the wall. But, yeah, that wow, that is, uh, that is very annoying indeed. So we try to get in the slipstream of Vettel to try and stick with him, try and get him a bit of speed, and maybe get him into the braking zone. But I just misjudged how early he would be braking. And I've hit my uh, front wing end plate on the left hand side. So that's unfortunate. We're going to lose two seconds in the pit stops at least. And now we're catching on to Hamilton. You can see I just went completely wide there. The understeer is already kicking in there on my car. Hamilton's into the pits now. I'm staying out on these prime tires. Um, I'm not too sure. I can't remember if uh, Hamilton was on options or primes. So, uh, can't remember for the life of me. But we're staying out because we're on the prime tires, obviously. And we're going to go to the options on the end uh, for the last stop. And now on lap 39, here we go. Our tires are pretty red, taking a very wide line into the pits. Yet again, getting very close to the wall there. But now we're uh, down into the mix, into the pit stops. We're going to lose, obviously, two seconds due to the front wing change. But we're going to the option tires now. Hopefully that will uh, give us the boost we need to try and catch Hamilton. So making the pit stop now, it's going to be about five seconds, I'm guessing. 
And uh, yes, he is a 5.6, so that's quite a lot of time lost. And we're down to fourth place indeed. R Nico Rosberg setting the fastest lap the Grand Prix. I'm not too sure who's overtaking him. It might be Nico Rosberg setting the fastest lap because Hamilton's ahead of me. Vettel, we know Vettel's ahead of me, so I'm not too sure Massa's not ahead of me because he was uh, very off the pace. So it must be Rosberg setting that fastest lap the Grand Prix. So somehow he's jumped me and Hamilton, I think. So, uh... Hamilton, here he is on that 44. We've closed up on him. He's on the option tires. I'm on the option tires. So it's option v option, although he pit a lot earlier than me. So he's going to have to go a lot longer on those tires. So hopefully that will give me the advantage. A few laps of grip. So now we're in the DRS zone. We've opened the rear flap. We're getting a slipstream. Can we maybe overtake Lewis Hamilton here? I'm going to think better of it as we just stick behind him. But we try to maybe see if we can maybe just force him into giving the room and opening the door. But no. And now we're just going to stick behind him. Set the fastest sector of the lap so far on that lap. But on the very next lap, lap 45, here we go. Using the curves again. Opening the DRS flap once again. But this time we're much closer. We've got a much better run on Hamilton. Here we go. He's going defensive on the left. I'm going to go to the right. Let's try and see if we can make the move around the outside. He's going to give, them, me, give me the room, hopefully. We park it on the apex corner of the exit. And there we go. We're up into third place, setting the fastest sector of the lap again. Yes, and Nico Rosberg is in second place. Confirmation that he has somehow jumped me and Hamilton. I think maybe when me and Hal Hamilton were squabbling on the prime ties. Uh, and I was struggling on the prime tyres at the end. Maybe Rospo jumped us. And as we come to 49, this is the most interesting thing. There's only eight people in this Grand Prix. And Sebastian Vettel is not one of them. I think he's I think he's out of the Grand Prix. I think he must be. Because he's not in first place anymore. Nico Rosberg is winning the race. I'm now into second. And Hamilton is into third. So somehow I think Vettel has maybe crashed with someone. And we, as I'm talking there. We just had a horrible exit onto the main straight. And Hamilton's going to overtake us now. This is just. Oh god. This is horrendous stuff. Hamilton's overtaken us with DRS. Got a horrible exit onto that onto that straight. And I'm going to try and see if we can stick with Hamilton. Going to dive it down the inside. Can we maybe make the move stick? And you have to give Hamilton the room. He's still very much there. He's going to try and squeeze us. But we've parked on the apex. And we've got back into the second place. So the good stuff there to make the move done on Hamilton. And dive it down the inside of him immediately when he wasn't expecting it. So we're back up to second place. But our tyres are going off slightly. And onto lap 50 now. Hamilton is still very much behind me. He's got DRS, obviously. We've used all our curves, but it's no use. He's going to overtake me down the inside. We're going to have to try and, and uh, defend and uh, still attack him as much as we can. We're going to try the switch back. Didn't work horribly. Worked out horribly for me. We're going to try. Oh, God, no. We've locked up. Maybe thought about doing the dove down the inside of that corner on the right hand there, but thought better of it and had to lock up there to save it. But, yeah, I tried the switch back on the hairpin after the main straight, but it didn't work out. Here on lap 52, though, this is our best chance now. Opening DRS using the curves on lap 52. Can we overtake Lewis Hamilton in Mercedes? This is for the championship lead going to Brazil. Can we make the move stick down the inside, getting very close to his rear tyre, locking up a tad, going wide on the uh, Astro turf there, but we've made the move down into second place. Rosberg still leading by some margin. Eight people still left in this Grand Prix, losing the rear tyres a tad. But now on lap 53, we're coming through down to the penultimate corner there. Going very wide, though, understeering completely wide, and Hamilton's gained on us now. Down to the first corner, he's having a look. I've squeezed him out, though, and now we're going to the pit straight onto lap 54. And we've uh, lost the rear, and Hamilton is going to gain on us. He's got DRS as, get as well, and usually DRS is not very effective down this straight, but I've lost the rear coming onto this straight, and he's overtaken me into second place. He has got second again, and he's got the championship lead once again. And we're still going to try and chase after Hamilton. Can we stick with him for the next two laps on lap 56? Looks like he's completely bolted. He's two seconds away, and it's no use. And oh god, Jesus, we've hit our front wing. Ah, we've lost Hamilton. Nico Rosberg wins the race. Hamilton makes it a 1 2 for Mercedes, and Hamilton is going to get the lead going into Brazil. He's got a four point lead going into the Brazilian Grand Prix. The finale of the ultra mod career mode. We've come home in third, my man celebrates. I guess it's pretty good from 20 seconds to get another third place yet again. How many thirds have we got in this series? Must be quite a few. But uh, there we go, we've got third place and Hamilton has got second. That means he leads us by four points in the world championship going into Brazil. And many of you have been asking in the previous episodes, will Brazil be double points? I can tell you now, Yes, it will be. Brazil will be double points. Therefore, it's all to play for going into this finale. It should be an absolute stunner going to Brazil. 
But if you guys did enjoy this one, do be sure to give it a like. Comment below what you thought of the race. Subscribe if you're new for weekly F1. And obviously, that brilliant finale. After 18 100% races, we're going to be doing a final one at the Brazilian Grand Prix around Interlagos. Double points for the World Championship. Hamilton leads me. I must beat him in Brazil. He leads by four points. Alonso's in third place. He could actually still win the championship if me and Hamilton don't score points in Brazil, which is unlikely, but still up for grabs. So that should be an absolute stunner there at Brazil. But if you guys, again, did enjoy this episode, give it a like, favorite it if you will. Comment below if you uh, thought it was good. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day. And I will see you guys next time for the Brazilian Grand Prix, the finale of the Ultramod series. I'll see you guys next time. I'll leave you with the celebrations.